This is the sixth video in a series about complex arithmetic methods and geometric interpretations. With Mathematica, I am teaching you some Mathematica along with complex analysis. In the last video, we focused on using the locator command in Mathematica within a manip manipulate to create cursors, effectively, that can be moved around instead of sliders to animate your picture and in this case illustrate the parallelogram law for complex number addition where we can move either complex number around. We also focused on defining the idea of, of the modulus of a complex number as well as illustrating the triangle inequality. When you write Z1 like this with absolute value signs around Z1, you call that the modulus of Z1, and it can be interpreted geometrically either as the distance between the point representing z1 and the origin, or as the length of the vector representing z1. In this case, 3 root 5, the modulus of z2 is root 41, and the modulus of z1 plus z2 is root 170. And yes, the square root of 170 is less than or equal to the square root of um, 45 plus the square root of 41, it's less than or equal to the sum of the lengths of the individual sides. First new thing I want to do in this video is just illustrate how to write out the triangle inequality in symbols. Again, it says that the modulus of the sum is less than or equal to the sum of the moduli of the two numbers individually. Like this. So that's the symbolic form of the triangle inequality. It can be extended to any finite number of complex numbers that are being added and you would get a similar looking thing. And that's something to make sure you know. The second thing I want to do in this video is interpret complex subtraction for our example, how should we calculate 3 plus 6i minus 4 plus 5i, and more importantly even, how should we visualize what it is? As far as calculating it, make a guess. Um, pause the video, come back, and see if you got it right. Are you back? What you do is you do subtract the real parts. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Negative 1 will be the real part of the answer and subtract the imaginary part. 6 minus 5 is positive 1. Positive 1 will be the re imaginary part of the answer. The answer will be negative 1 plus i. One way this can be interpreted geometrically is motivated by the fact that subtractions can always be thought of as additions. You can write that subtraction like this, 3 plus 6i plus the additive inverse of 4 plus 5i, the opposite of 4 plus 5i if you prefer, which is, as you might guess, negative 4 minus 5i. Add those two complex numbers, that's the same as the difference, 3 plus 6i minus 4 plus 5i. And the reason that is a good way to think about it is it helps you figure out how to visualize the difference. I'm going to go back to my original code and modify it first a little bit to make it a little bit closer in. Let's go negative 10 to 10 in both directions. I'm going to get rid of the dot at a plus b and instead make a dot at a minus b. I'm also going to get rid of any arrows that end at a plus b. Like this. Okay, so I've got the visualization here. I got rid of the, arrow, the dot that was up here and the arrows that went up there. You see I have a new dot at A minus B. Let's add some arrows in here to illustrate how A minus B can be thought of because you can be thought of as A plus negative B. I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to draw an arrow at negative b from the origin to negative b 
Notice that that points in the opposite direction as B does and is the same length. Whoops. Accidentally, accidentally clicked on the thing there. Let's also add an arrow that starts at A and ends at A minus B. Two more arrows. Let's add an arrow that starts at negative B and ends at A minus B. And finally, let's add an arrow that starts at the origin and ends at A minus B, and let's make that one black because that is the answer. So there, this black arrow that has a horizontal displacement of negative 1 and a vertical displacement of positive 1 is a representation of the complex number negative 1 plus i, as well as this red dot is representing that same complex number. So this is one way to visualize the complex subtraction. Uh, 3 plus 6i minus 4 plus 5i, this, this blue arrow minus this blue arrow gives this black arrow. It's a little bit quicker and maybe more natural to, sh to translate this black arrow so it starts up here at 4, 5 and ends right there at 3, 6. And that will give you the same arrow. Starts at 4, 5, which is B. Ends at 3, 6, which is A. There we go. That black arrow also represents the complex number negative 1 plus i, and it is a bit more quick to draw if you already have the arrows for a and b here in there individually, and you don't have this parallelogram, you don't want to make the parallelogram, you could just draw this arrow here. Again, what is what? a is this arrow, b is this arrow. To draw a minus b then, you start at the tip of b and go to the tip of, tip of a. A way to think of that algebraically is if you take b and add a minus b, you're going to get a. You're going to be at the tip of a, as this illustrates. So that's what I wanted to get across in this video. In the next video, as well as a number of videos to come, we will get into how to multiply complex numbers and how to divide them and the geometric meaning of multiplication and division. And that's even more interesting than the geometric interpretation of addition and subtraction.